Thanks, Florian. Um, what's up, guys? It's good to be back. It's so good to be back. Um, yeah. Fucking Supreme. Week one. We're here. I don't know why um, the Streamlabs mod has been like telling people not to spam, but I need to fix that because I want you guys to be able to spam in the chat. Yeah, spring summer 24. It's interesting, guys. There's been definitely, you know, some people hate this season and I think that's fine. Um, me personally, I think there's a lot of good collabs to come and like overall, you know, my thing with Supreme is I've been a fan of it for so long that they could release an actually terrible season, like no good items. And I would still like be ready to, to check it out again next year. Right. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of people, if you think about how much you actually buy from Supreme, I know some people buy a ton. But if you buy a couple pieces a year, one collab could one good collab could make the difference in in what you think about the uh, the season, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, maybe the maybe the season preview isn't to the same level as fall winter 23, but it's also a spring summer season, right? And I I just always feel and I felt this for a long time, but I've just never said it on a video. I've always felt like fall winter seasons are usually better for whatever reason. You know, whether it's that since Supreme is like a New York brand, they want to make doper jackets and outerwear and stuff for the holidays. But dude, this season's clean. Like there's some clean backpacks coming out today. And I need some help to figure out what to cop. Seriously, guys. What's the best resale item? Anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, we got a question in the chat from Danny Soul. Does the UGK hoodie drop today? No, I do not believe the UGK hoodie will be dropping. This is every single item coming out today. I did a very long video on it yesterday. And apologies for getting that out kind of slow, guys. Here's what basically happened. I'll let you, I'll fill you guys in on what happened. Okay, so Sunday night, I'm staying up later than usual. I think I was watching One Piece or something. I sleep in, miss my alarm. Okay. This, the season preview is out and I'm overslept. I've overslept my alarm by a couple hours. No, one. I overslept it by one hour. So I had to log into work and like do my work from home shit, get a lot of stuff done so I could make a video. I go over the preview and to be honest, guys, like I haven't even looked at the entire preview yet. If that sounds crazy, it's because I've only looked at jackets, shirts, tops, sweatshirts, and that's really it. I mean, I have glanced at these other items, but I'm saving my like in-depth review of all of these items for my later preview videos. Cause I do have some preview videos coming out. I'm not going to say any time later this week for sure. I'd love to do one today, but with the stream, it might not happen. The next one will probably be pants, shorts, and t-shirts. And then hats and bags and then accessories just needs its own video so there's like three more preview videos coming out so look forward to that stuff i think there's just a lot of content for me to look through and i i really do like breaking it down um by category just because i feel like if i did the entire preview in like one big stream yeah it's fun for the couple people that are in here the whole time but i think for a lot of people there's some information that gets lost or left out and i feel like just in a even a 30 minute video which is still pretty long i can get a lot more points across if that makes sense just my kind of opinions i started doing that last year i think last season uh what time is the drop it's uh, 11 a.m eastern standard time in the u.s 4 p.m british standard time 
and 1700 CEST in the EU. So right there. Poll first sellout, good idea before I forget. Let's bring chat over here. Good idea. And my music stopped, what the hell? We'll get that going again. Yeah, it's in like 30 minutes. Let me get lo-fi going again. What do you guys think will sell out first? I'm looking at it and it's like Futara box logo, yeah. I'm gonna be honest guys, like I am copying Futara box logo, but I'm like kind of meh on it. Like I don't really care that much. Yeah. Belladonna, <laughs> Belladonna, Maradona. Belladonna is like a, something completely different. Um, bandana, Twill hats, you think the Twill hats? The back of the Futara is kind of meh, I agree. All that it has going for it is that it's a box logo and that, um, you know, Futara, Supreme collaborator, artist, etc. What do you guys think about the actual first gear trucks? I don't know. I like them. And I think that people that are into die cast models will definitely cop them. But like, do you think these are going to sell out at 128? Because it's going to be each color is 128. I know. That's how I feel, Matt. I like them, but they're too expensive. It'd be a really sick piece. Saint Laurent, bro, you're fucking rich, Andrew. I love that. I love that, dude. Spent too much on Saint Laurent. Can't can't afford the Supreme Varsity jacket. Damn, bro, tough life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I am gonna put big logo because I do think that it's pretty sick. And I know in my video I compared it to the Tiger Varsity jacket. It's not the same level of that piece, but you know, it is cactus plant art. It is a big varsity jacket. I think varsities are still doing very well. So currently we have Futara T for what will sell out first, guys. This is the poll. Futara T, Maradona T, big logo varsity. And we need one more, one more item. One more item. I'm going to say it because we kind of have a history of putting on multiple items. I'm going to say any bag, any bag. I think that's fair. Space die beanie. Hmm. You think space die beanie is going to go? The beanies are sleeper. Okay. Okay. Oh, are we thinking the bandanas are gonna sell out? Pack of three printed logo bandanas. Is it each pack gets all of the colors or does each pack only get one? Job time will be a war zone. I don't know, dude. I think it's gonna be pretty easy. I think if you want something, you, everyone here will be able to cop it. Seriously. Beanies on the drops. GG story look ass. That's funny. Does he have them on his Instagram? Here's some in-store pictures if you guys didn't see my community post. Do I know what week will Kermit will drop? No. Basically, dude, no one knows anything about what week stuff will come out um, until usually the week before. Like typically, the only information that, um, you know, people like Supreme Drops and Drops by J, now the Macintosh, we just basically get leaks. I mean, I don't get anything. I just report on what they get, but they get leaks and information, but, you know, no one really knows what stuff will come out until the week before. Sometimes you can guess, like with Nike and stuff, like people kind of knew it was coming out week two because it uh, Nike collabs always come out week two, which will not be next week. It'll be in um, 
two more weeks. So yeah, I think we'll get those Nike. I don't know if we'll get the Air Maxes or if we'll get the Cortezes, whatever those are called. Are they the Cortezes? No, they're not. They're called the um, the shoe that I always forget what it's called. The boot. The the Fidel Castros, the Darwins. <laughs> I'm gonna call them the Fidel Castros, dude. Yep, the gazelles, the triceratopses. Okay, we're gonna put um, any bag. You guys think bags? Okay, we'll do bandana. Fuck it. Starting pull. On what will sell out first? Fitara box logo, Maradona T, big logo varsity, or the bandanas? I spell bandanas right? I hope so. Band Anna's band. I spelled them wrong. I spelled bananas. <laughs> bananas. What about the Metal Gear collab, dude? Apparently, the Metal Gear collab like might be canceled. Sadly. So, whenever the Macintosh tweeted that, which this is a guy you guys need to follow if you want the first source on all this stuff seems like he's some kind of a botter like for Jumpman jacks i don't know he does some bot stuff but he was tweeting a bunch of shit about supreme and now it's all gone from his okay i'm very confused all right all this supreme stuff is gone which is kind of weird but i swear he posted that stuff but Metal Gear collab. Basically, we got that information and then not a few days later, we got, so February 6th was the teaser, like Metal Gear collab looks sick, right? And then according to insiders, this collaboration is reportedly canceled or postponed, which dude, this got 3.8 million engagements. That is actually nuts. And then the reply got 439k. So we'll see. Futara Bogo and Purple will sell out first. Maybe. What's up, Michael Taylor? It's on Instagram. Supreme will skip a week for orders after this drop. People will be ready for Nike collab when they return. Exactly, Chris Troutman doing the Lord's work. Appreciate it. Yeah, I have no idea what this, um, why this happened but RIP. Maybe this could be the new profile picture for a bit. The solid snake with the, you know, by any means necessary jacket. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why they would cancel it. it. Sucks. I saw someone make a mock-up of like the collab. They'd be like, this is what the collab's gonna look like. And it was a super small really tiny graphic image of a um, just like a, like a Metal Gear screenshot. Super funny. Metal Gear Solid. Interesting. Why are we getting Metal Gear stuff from T. Blake? That's funny. All right. Street Night Live. What is he posting about? Say we're pretty getting the shift into spring by talking about how to build a versatile wardrobe. That's the goal for this year, guys. I'm trying to build a more versatile wardrobe, literally. Literally. I think that would be pretty cool. But I'm still thinking, guys, like I've been talking so much about the Oxford. I feel like I have to cop it. But part of me is like, dude, 128 is kind of fucking annoying for an Oxford. The Oxfords used to be... I swear to God, they were like a hundred dollars back in the day. And I guess like a hundred dollars is more. It was just like less or more back then, less now inflation, but it still sucks, you know, because do I, do I want to pay 128 for this? Like not really. So that's why I'm kind of like torn on like what I want my personal item to be this week. And part of me is like, dude, just send it with the stonewash selvage jeans. 
I'm thinking about it, Rashab. Honestly, I'm thinking about it, but I'm also like kind of like. I'm also like kind of like, dude, that's a great sentence, Thomas. Good job. Um, I'm really debating because I want to to grab some stuff that I think will resell, right? Make a little cash. And that's what I'm mostly trying to go for right now. Yeah. We'll wait for week two. Nike collab. I think that's a good idea, bro. Brown or blue Gore-Tex Anorak? Mm, I like it, Florian, but out of all the... Out of all the Gore-Texes we've got, there's been like so many better ones. You know what I'm saying? Like this one is just kind of meh. It's simple for sure. And I think... I don't know, dude, I've never liked brown and gold together. It's just not it for me. Don't know why. I would say the blue, but I feel like just like Palace has a better version of that, right? For tomorrow, for next week. We'll look at this later. And here we go. I got my stripe work, patchwork stripe shirt. I feel like I'd rather cop this from Palace than the uh, other one from Supreme. And I have way less Palace than I have Supreme anyway. Know what I'm saying? So, I think that just made up my mind and I'm gonna pass on the Oxford. Um, Gavish says he wants to get the patchwork tea in another item, but I don't even know. Yeah. I mean, you could always go like classics, just get like, what would be a classic item? I mean, you get a Hanes shirt, <laughs> which that's not super fun. That's not like exciting, an exciting cop. I mean, I guess it is a little bit, but um, turn the alerts back on. I have alerts on the channel now, apparently. So if people subscribe, I'm supposed to get notifications. I don't know if anyone's not subscribed, but if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so I can help see if my stream works and that uh, we have alerts turned on. That would be dope if you could do that. Was contemplating on box of tea, but I already have a ton of teas from Supreme, so not feeling going for it. Yeah. What's everyone's opinion on the football top? I knew your guys' honest opinion. Do we think we could flip this? Is this flippable? Have I seen the Brazil store teaser? Yeah. The Rio, like the, the Christ the Redeemer video. I think football top is a sleeper and I want to go for it in like a, a large or maybe an XL. Let's take my own advice, open up stock X and I only ever get this uh, StockX thing if it's if I'm streaming, which is funny. I don't know why. Um, hey, will the coll collegiate T be a good flip? I haven't resold since 2019, so very washed. Dude, I'm right there with you. I literally got back into the game in like 2022. So my take, let's look at Supreme Collegiate. I was going to look at my own design, but I'll look at yours first. Here we go. This one came out in um, fall winter 2013 or fall winter 2023. It is the collage patchwork. This one hasn't sold at all. StockX is a pretty bad representation too, but it can give you some kind of an idea. Can you see the prices right there? No, you can't. There. So after this drop, someone sold it at one point for $300, but I don't know if it has a ton of hype behind it. I'm going to wager and say no. And here's why Kai, this is why I think it's not going to sell out for one. It's not super high up on this list. I guess it is kind of, it's on the third row. So these are the kind of most hyped items. You're better buying two pairs of gloves to flip in the football top. Dude, I'm kind of feeling the same thing, bro. I 
I, I, I was really hoping someone would bring up the gloves because I fuck with the gloves heavy. Let's look at, um, we're going to check the football top just for a second. Mm, bumblebee. Dude, I told people to buy this thing. Crazy that this brown and pink one has sold for 371, but then this long sleeve bumblebee colorway has sold like as low as 150, 140. Like colors really make or break a piece. And this one's also just a lot better from last season. Dude, last season had so much shit. That was so good. Wow. It's kind of nuts that literally, wow, some dude bought a small for 500. How does that even happen? Baffling. Yeah, I think you're right, bro. Even if I can flip, it seems like a risk. Yeah, so I think the collegiate the collegiate is a risk. If you want to stick to stuff that I think will resell, shears, kind of risky, 110, super unique item. I think no matter what happens long term, I think they'll do well. I need to check on the Supreme Camp Hammer because this is an example that I want to use. Okay. This thing does not really resell, so bad example. But sometimes, even if an item doesn't immediately sell out, the longer you get from the season where it released, you can start to see price increase, even if it didn't sell out immediately. Just because the nature of time and how you know the market works with those less, when more time has passed since an item coming out, typically there are less people in the marketplace trying to sell. So if you're willing to bide your time, you can get it sold for um, a price you're willing to let go for, I guess. Sometimes that is less than, um, less than you would have hoped. Next item, I think guys, what are we thinking about the shoulder bags? I think shoulder bags, 60 bucks. I'm thinking the camo one and the black one. I'm gonna guess that the orange one will probably not be as sought after. Just a hunch. I used to always really ride and die for the fucking bright colorways, but it turns out that stuff usually doesn't go as well. I think the bags this season are very clean, but last season we saw, in a few seasons for now, like recently, we've seen bags not even really sell out at all. But Futara box logo, it's probably going to be lunch money, to be honest. I might check out Fauntleroy's Discord, our boy, and just see what he's kind of, people are talking about. Um, let's see what's happening in general chat. Um, okay, what are people, what items do you guys Supreme suggest for resale? The toolbox, maybe. I heard the Haynes boxers will re will resell. That's why they're upvoted so much. Yes. Um. See if people are actually genuinely stoked for this. Run the stream, bro. We streaming now. Hop in, boys. Thank you. All right, cool. Why are Hanes boxers so hyped? Um, I think it's a meme. I think people are, are literally just trolling. If I had to guess, because these are gray boxers and like who really cares? But maybe we'll have to cop them. I do actually kind of low key need some, some new boxers if you guys know what I'm saying. They are hella wrong on the toolbox. I, dude, I kind of agree. I think, I don't know. Anytime you can get a rectangular surface, and I don't know why this is true, but anytime you can get a large Supreme logo on something, it, it does kind of do well, can. But no, dude, Supreme community is absolutely like not correct all the time. People like to just troll. Look at this now. Oh, this is overview. 
I think the voting system also like isn't perfect. Like I think this guy made code. This guy made code like a long time ago and I don't even know. Like you probably can really easily game this system. Do we YOLO? Okay. Do we YOLO it and cop this? I'm thinking I want to get size 32. My 32, 32. I'm a 32, 30. Size 32, selvage jeans. Selv jeans. I'm thinking. I feel like we just send it with the Futara box logo, right? Black, purple, gray, moss, red. Probably just black. Size large. Football top. Do we think football top is sleeper or do I go for a pair of mechanics gloves? That's what I was going to look up. Supreme. Have they released mechanics gloves before? Okay, here we go. Same brand. Spring, summer 17. Dude, back when you could get freaking Supreme accessories for 36 bucks, like good ones. God, I've missed those days so much. These ones though, the nails, I guess the nails is kind of not as cool of a design. I don't think I'm gonna double up on the gloves. I think that's a little bit risky. Maradona has some diehard fans. That's true. Um, well, Adam, 1017, I believe that anytime you get the colored Supreme Boxers, they're always going to be a two pack. Like, see how the bandanas are a two pack from Fall Winter 22? And how the neon ones are a two pack. Basically, Supreme releases a new color of the Hanes pretty much every season. I have these leopards, which I think is hilarious. They're pretty much destroyed, but <laughs> I still wear them because they're funny. Um, which you could low key fucking resell these. That's so funny. Someone sold these for $143. That is so fucking stupid. Uh, but yeah, basically the, the boxers are, they have a, a special colorway that has two in them. And then they're always going to have the, the four pack or the three pack of the black and white ones, if that explains it. Supreme denim twill hat. You guys keep talking about the denim twill hat. Let's look at it. This one right here. Am I on the overview again? If I'm on the overview, I'm going to be pissed. Twill patch? This one? No. Can't be that one, right? Gold cross. Personal ego. You not copying Varsity without a bot? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I think you should go for Varsity if you... Can, if you you know dude i don't think i don't think the the big logo is risky for resale at all i think um i think this varsity will do very well the higher end like varsity jackets always seem to do pretty well and i'm still looking for the camp cap i think i saw it and then i it disappeared is it so is it, drop list is too fucking big dude I probably scrolled past it already. I'm blind. Middle left. Like right here, this row? Yes, right there. Thank you, sorry. Okay. We think this is fire? Okay. How about the overdyed beanie green? I'm kind of feeling that overdyed beanie. I think there's still beanie hype in the air and it's kind of cheap, which I like. Like 40 bucks is nice. 40 bucks is super nice. And maybe with this week, we kind of strategize and not get anything too super expensive. So 
which this drop list barely even helps. Denim one is the only good one. Huh. Okay. Well, guys, let me put in my full screen webcam and get my card information all dialed in so we can be ready. I was kind of trying out Opera GX, the browser, and... I also hear people talk about the Brave browser, and I'm like, is it good? I don't know. Let's get to our autofill. I know I should definitely do this over, do this on my own time, but I always forget to. I have done this thing where I've not done this, and then I've had to manually enter credit card information literally while on stream, and that shit sucks. Do not recommend that. And I just realized why my one of my cards used to always fail. It had the wrong expiration date saved, which is fucking spectacular. Do I have my address saved? Saved addresses? I do. We got like an email address in there. We do. Okay. Okay, we got that dialed in. We're good to go. Um, yeah, so the overdyed green, <sighs> overdyed beanie, maybe? Which one? Which one do you guys think for the gradient? This one? No, the overdyed. <sighs> I think this is not the one, guys. I think I had a good point. I think, and this is maybe, maybe it's just a, maybe it's a crazy idea. But I think anytime there's like seven or eight different colorways, it kind of reduces the resale compared to an item like the Gradient Space Dye Beanie, which has three colorways, you know, a little bit simpler. But I don't know, could be totally wrong. What else are you guys going for? Zane likes the cargo pants. Curtis is going for the brown fur, dude. Good job. Good luck. That's that's incredible. I'd love to see that. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I cover weekly Supreme content. We will be talking about the palace drop list as well after this video, after this stream, live cop. I still like have no clue what I'm getting. I mean, I have some clue. IDK now, do I do the faux fur and the space diabetes and call it a day? Maybe. Gradient beanie, camo. Maybe we do the Maradona. I don't know. Gore-Tex Blue and Futaro Bogo. Love the channel, man. Thank you, Gabot. Appreciate it. Space Die Winter is coming to an end. Gonna pass. Yeah, I feel that. Hell yeah. Going for Varsity and for Joint Jam. Michael. You're just insane, dude. Balling out. Yeah, the CP... The Cactus Plant Flea Market, this guy is going to resell for, I'm guessing, eight to $1,000. $800 to $1,000. If you look at the Tiger print, or the Tiger Varsity jacket, yes, the Tiger Varsity jacket is a better jacket. Yes, Tiger Varsity had a cheaper price at $498. The, re the, the initial investment does suck for this one. Like, $600 is a lot of fucking money. I mean, Hunter Thieves, the gaming organization, had a collaboration with Pokemon. They released a $900 Varsity jacket. And they're barely even a... I mean, they are a streetwear brand. They've been around for a little bit. But they released Hunter Thieves Pokemon Varsity jacket. I know it's right before the stream, but I want to show you guys this. This is hilarious. People were so mad about this thing. Pikachu Varsity jacket. Uh, what's the price? It doesn't say... Four interest-free installments of uh, yeah, there it is, nine ninety-eight, right there, nine ninety-eight for this hundred thieves Pokemon varsity jacket, nine hundred and ninety-eight dollars. I mean, it's sick. 
it's not worth I mean in my opinion it's not worth that much $998 and it sold out 3x XL small I mean props to them props to Nade Shot for for doing that collab pretty cool I'll probably take an L but we'll go again in Japan yeah dude you're freaking mister I get to go twice every week <laughs> yeah Fishdale Parka, uh, man. Wish it was cheaper. Wish there was no poem. Wish it was fall winter. But I might try to cop one of these sometime soon. Football zip up. I've kind of just abandoned it. I think it's not great. For a while there, it was like no jerseys could uh, could go wrong. So I feel like it was only a matter of time before we had some some kind of misses. We do have some good jerseys this season. We have the sudden death jersey, which I will definitely be copying. If nothing else to flip, I think it's super dope. But, oh man. Guys, what else do I need to get? Am I just going to go black selvage jeans? Or am I just going to go selvage jeans and a Futara? What up, Turks? I kind of wanted a third item to get. And I don't even know. Did I just get a shoulder bag? Maybe? Or should I get a beanie? Do I like the box logo? Not really. If I'm gonna be totally honest, dude, not not really. Um, I'm just kind of, I just kind of want to get it because it's a it's a box logo, and it's kind of safe to at least buy. Even if a box logo sucks, there's at least some resell on it. Only thing I'm after is the Rolf shirt. Lol. Nice. I don't like the E at the end. Yeah, I see that, bro. It's definitely stylized for sure. I agree. I think having it be normal would actually be good. All bad week one. I don't think it's all bad. I just don't think it's near as good as kind of last season. And I think people have a pretty short memory. A lot of people were saying, you know, during 21, 22, that Supreme was completely dead. And then, you know, 20, 23 comes out, happens. Two great seasons. I think now we're back to a pretty normal supreme season and i think there's going to be a ton of really dope basically a ton of really dope collaborations all right i'll cave guys mayor donati we're gonna do selvage jeans i think black futara size large and maradona what color though what color i need you guys to vote what color I'll do another quick poll. Yeah, it's the 30th anniversary for sure. Black, gray, or white. I don't have time to do a poll. The thing's coming out very soon. No one's even speaking about it. I feel like, yeah, dude, I know. It's um it's disappointing to see a lot of people shitting on it when it's the 30th anniversary. So I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, especially fall winter. I think fall winter 24 is going to be nuts. Um, Black Futara does not even look like a box logo. Yeah, I know. Actually, that's true. Maybe I should get a different, a different color. Maybe like blue. Blue looks kind of cool. You think it's possible to get the tea without bots? Uh, which tea? The Bell Belladonna? Gray Futara, okay. Yeah, I fuck with Gray Futara. I think that's I think that's a good idea. Gray Futara. Selvage jeans. Maradona. What color Maradona guys? One last one last second. We'll figure it out. Alright, time to lock in. Black. Black Maradona. Go purple. Okay. I don't know why um, you're getting deleted for messages, Bo. But um, yeah, we'll we'll fix old uh, chat bot soon. Eighteen hundred subs, guys. Thank you. I apparently do not have alerts turned on, so unless you've been seeing them. And I've just been missing them. We'll get that fixed next stream. Thank you for the subs. Here we go. 
11 a.m. Here it is. All right. Let's go to t-shirts. Oh, belly down to purple. It's kind of dope. We'll do extra large. You all. I should have hit keep shopping. Um, Futara box logo. Ooh, purple looks kind of nice. We'll do gray. Size large. You all. Pants. Where the salvage jeans at? Where them salvage jeans at, boy? Do they not release them? Rigid baggy salvage jeans? The regular jeans. Damn, they didn't... They didn't drop them. Maybe we'll get... Uh, <laughs> the boxers. Alright, this is what we're going to get. I was too slow to cop anything else. Too slow to cop anything else. I was looking for those selvage jeans and like, where the fuck were they? Firefox L. Copped. Nice. Bandana is a three pack. I should have grabbed him. All right. Express checkout with, with the, not, not, not PayPal. Nope. Uh... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Why are you why are you dogging me on this, dude? Come on. I'm getting fucked on my American Express card right now. It's telling me I don't have the right fucking number. This is so stupid. What the fuck? Finally. Your order is being processed. All right, we got, yay, we got it. We copped it. Jesus. That was a freaking hassle. What the hell was going on there? All right, sick. Very light cart, but we still got something. I'm making sure I'm not doxing myself like I've done in the past. All for fun. Yeah, prices went up. Yeah, there was a... Uh, I was shadow banned. Yeah, dude, pretty much. Um, here's what I got. Supreme Hanes boxers. Just obviously for me. Fritar box logo. Maradona T XL. Rainbow Be Gone. Rain Beanie sold out fast. Multicolor. Guys, you should have told me. I said Beanie and no one said anything. God dang it. Maradona T is still available. Ah, oh, we're fucked. Wow. You guys, I'm I'm disappointed in all of you. You're gonna have to sit yourselves in timeout. Now we probably wouldn't have gotten honestly the the this guy right here. We probably wouldn't have even copped him, just because our cart was was big and I was futzing around with um. I was futzing around. Yeah, I feel that, Julian. Let's look at the bags. Anything else? I feel like the inventory is probably so high on these bags. It would take a while for them to sell out. But I still do think that long term they'll do pretty good. Look at these varsity jackets. Sold out. Red one is gone. Completely gone. Curry. Mustard, I guess. Black is sold out. There you go. Told you. I told you. Fishtail parka, damn. No one feeling it. I don't know why my custom alerts aren't working. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to read there on Vivo, but it's week one, and when you run a Supreme channel, I feel pressured that I have to at least do something. Did the truck sell out? Nope, truck is still available. Shears, still available. Toolboxes, both still there. 
I got stuck bot check. Damn. For your VPN. Okay, the black gloves have actually gone in extra large. So I feel like these gloves might go in black. Like 15. Insane. Shout out to the deep pocket folks. Yeah, dude, if you can afford to cop those big guys, shout out. Dude, if, if Futara is probably still sitting, huh? Belladonna or Maradona. Oh, I keep saying Belladonna. Wow, the black one. I fucked up. You got the purple. Damn it. Should have kept it simple. Wow. Blue is gone. Red is still there. Purple is still there. Wow, people are definitely aren't feeling this. Yeah. I thought gray was a decent option. Should have gone for an XL. Bogo's sitting a bit. Yeah, dude, they are sitting. They, these will sell out eventually. Just because their box logos. Probably. This one's gone, the blue one. See, I was feeling that, dude. I should have just gone with my gut. I was like, I like the blue a lot. And I went with gray because I read chat. So now I'm like blaming chat for not telling me about the beanie. And then I'm also blaming you guys for giving me Rex. So I just got to take that L on the chin. It's not even an L. I copped. I think this is just... Um, just a little bit of a, a setback. A little bit of a reset, guys. My FOMO is telling me yes, but my brain's telling me no. Just don't cop anything then, dude. I think FOMO for buying clothes online is is overrated. Unadfreed Ryuk got the bandana and gloves. I missed out on the beanie. The bandana, you can get up to four in your cart. That's crazy. Okay, I was wrong in my video. These are top and bottom. It looks like the same direction. I just, I guess I just can't tell which one is... Which one is the top and which one is the bottom. But that makes a lot more sense. They're sold together like that. What the fuck is the rooted logo? I don't get it. Natural veneer. cool one of the argyle vests but man over 170 damn how are those jersey football shirts sitting in all sizes i don't know dude i thought the football shirts would be a lot better one in black mara but sold out too fast i don't know dude i liked this football thing i guess i just literally forgot about it which is maybe a blessing i don't know top and bottom pause yeah, that's right. That is funny. The Argyle vest, dude. I mean, I hate this thing, <laughs> but I can see if you like, you, you know, you kind of vibe with that style. I respect it. Just not me. White camo sweats. Such a sleep. Um, bong bong. Let's see. What happened to my jeans, dude? that I wanted to get. Did I literally just scroll past them? There was supposed to be selvage jeans that came out. Not the rigid baggy selvage, but the... Like, was I just tripping or what, dude? Was there not supposed to be stonewashed, slim selvage jeans? What, did these just not come out? Restocking Bogos, Maradona T sold out. Did it sell out in all colors or just in black? Yeah, the Muppet shirt is sitting to Ralph, whatever. Yep, definitely kind of a slower week, guys. And you know what? That's okay. We can... Um, We'll regroup. I think week two, we can expect Nike. We can expect stuff like that. 
Thomas, I skipped this job for next week. I wanted the Maradona tea, but I need to pay bills, bro. Because you're responsible and I'm irresponsible. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with skipping at all. Seriously. I pressure myself into copying every single week. Um, do palace shirts have that wide boxy fit like Supreme does now? Or are they regular sized? I'm the wrong person to ask sizing questions, bro. I do not cop a ton of palace. I have one palace shirt. And that is my experience with Palace. I basically get everything in size large and either it fits me tight or it's, I mean, I'm a skinnier person. So I'm um, usually things are a little baggy on me regardless. Sometimes if I have a small shirt, it's tight in my shoulders, but I think they're regular sized, you know? Yeah. Par infinity says the same thing or par infinite par infinity. I'm just terrible though at asking, at um, answering sizing questions. Like I'm just, I've always just kind of said YOLO, maybe slightly box here. Definitely true to size for me. Yeah. I, I just have no fucking clue. <laughs> People are like, yo, what's your, uh, you know, what's your hem seam measurement? I'm like, I don't know, 21. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, someone was asking about the collegiate hooded sweatshirts. Here they are. Kind of sitting, some colors doing better than others. So the beanie was the piece to get, bandanas. Let's see, gloves. Gloves are going to sell out in black, slowly but surely. Small and medium are gone. Truck, bandana, it's hilarious, pack of three. Faux fur jacket gone. Live bandanas and tanks in my car for 10 bucks shipping. Nobody copped any bags? Got my patchwork tea and I'm good for this week. Nice, dude. I should have kept it simple with just a few Tara box logo, but I had to uh, throw in some underwear and throw in some the Maradona tea. In purple for some unknown reason. Nice, dude. You got the camo backpack. I think this is a great item, honestly. With the 3M too. Look at that. I didn't even realize that was 3M. That is super dope. I can't get this new Supreme sizing right. Small is too tight, medium is too wide. Okay. I mean, always get medium then, bro. And you could probably, if, you, if, if small is too tight on you, you're probably pretty, pretty small on the smaller side. So if you just like, you know, put on some muscle, start eating more, worked out, you can make that medium fit you real nice. I think that's what uh, the move should be for you. Start hitting the gym, you're in Supreme, you're fitting better, you're feeling better. That's, uh, maybe that can be your, your go-to goal. Everybody here, me included, I can do better. I can, uh, eat healthier, live better. And I think buying clothes every single week is exactly what I need to be doing, so we're in the right place. In our sanctuary. This is kind of funny. The McDonald's six shirt could be a future classic. Could be a future classic. I, I guess you need to have the same shipping and billing address to Apple Pay SMH. Yeah, dude, Supreme has had that rule for so long. It's kind of stupid, in my opinion, but you've always needed the same shipping and billing address for their stuff. It's like very ancient, like I think they put it in there for resale protection, but I'm not really sure. So, yeah. Thomas, what's your what was your sleeper hit in your opinion? Are you talking about this week? Yeah, we can do Palace Drop List next. Hit for Maradona and Futara shirt. Um do you think every day or every drop is going to be at 11? I think most drops will be at 11. Some will be at like 1.30, I think, for week two. I think week two, they usually drop at like 1.30 p.m. Typically. So be sure to sleep in that day for week two. Uh, Trill Gabriel, 23, hit for Maradona and Futara T. Nice. Jort, uh, John Yort. Crying laughing emoji, crying laughing emoji, crying laughing emoji. Hell yeah, dude. Anyone want the black double XL varsity holla at Florian Pita? If you need a black double XL varsity jacket, 
this week. Okay, sleeper picks. Let's see. Of items that actually released. Is this screen printed? It is. If this was... I like, I've always liked these shirts that they've released with just like one word on it. On these types of... Um, like slub, slub jerseys. I, I like this sick shirt that might be on there. Apparently the basketball or the football jersey, this item is a sleeper, right? It's sitting in pretty much all sizes. I think this guy is an absolute sleeper. What sold out first and second? I'm pretty sure the, um, uh, what was it? The beanie sold out first and, uh, sorry, mob syndicate. I was trolling, uh, Supreme always releases at 11. Just letting you know. Peach Collegiate Hoodie is a sleeper, says Adam1017. I agree. Peach Collegiate is a sleeper. This one right here. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. Looks pretty good. Uh, Firefox still not working for me. Damn, dude, I'm sorry. Maybe you can try a different browser. Red Futara shirt, W or L in your opinion? I think red and black looks great. I think it's a W. I just think overall the Futara is just not as hyped as we thought. At least the black sold out for my color, so that's good. Olive actually isn't bad. You know the funny thing is, guys, is people beg for like, or people every year they want to cop box logos, and then anytime we get like a slightly different one, we're all just like, oh, I kind of hate it, it kind of sucks. Just give me the same thing every every year over and over again it's funny it's like i think about it like in video games like i play a lot of call of duty and uh every year people are like oh man i wish they would add this stuff to the game like they need to change this they change the stuff for the next year people get the new game damn it dude they changed everything now i hate it just bring it back to how it used to be it's kind of the same thing with box logos right we 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 think we want something different we think we want them to change it up they change it up people are like nah dude i don't want it i don't even need it um okay soccer jerseys okay here we go there's usually not a week two usually week one is two weeks long well week two just means the second uh, drop henry so week two will be the second week of spring summer 24 and it will be on leap day February 29th so not next Thursday the 22nd seven days from then it's a fortnight away you could say um let's see am I the only one who likes to spread zip up I don't think so people like that I think faux fur is gonna resell I could see it it's a kind of crazy piece I just dude buying a faux fur jacket in February to me is just wild I also don't know anything about fur. I just felt very out of my depth with that. Um, are you copying just to resell? No, I cop for a balance of personal items and reselling. But I do like to give people resell information because that seems to be a very popular topic that people want to know what will resell. Do I think Kermit is going to sell out fast? Don't troll me now. Okay. Um... You're talking about the Gore-Tex jacket? It depends on the price. How about that? It depends on the price. If it's $500, no. If it's like under $450, then maybe. But we'll have to see. I'll have to get the general kind of vibe of the community. Once the Kermit uh, jacket is going to come out, I'll have to suss out what people are thinking and kind of get a, an understanding from that. Should I go for a second Black Futara shirt or Maradona in red? That's up to you, man. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of resell on it, but if you just like it and you want it and you want to build your collection up, go for it. If you can afford to, why not? Um, Kai McMillan. Yeah, legit. All the football tops besides red and L is sold out on UK. Wow, that's insane. We saw the same thing with the baseball, I think, last season where... The baseball sat on the U.S. site and sold out in Europe very quickly. 
I wonder if it's like in UK, the football top, kind of like a, you know, piece of American Americana. I don't know. I mean, it's just a football top. It's a sports top. It's not really American, I guess. This is kind of like genuine, genuinely kind of generic sports team. So I don't know why that would be the case. I don't know why your message is deleted, bro. Um, I need to get rid of... Can I put Streamlabs in timeout? Remove as standard moderator. Okay. Sorry, bro. Um, Grandmaster AJ got his uh, chat deleted. That was the most chill A item car I've ever checked out with. Quilted plaid, regular jean, denim chino camp cap, Rolf T, 96T, camo mini duffel, socks, and the small box long sleeve in bright orange. Nice, dude. Bro, why the fuck is... Streamlabs is annoying as fuck. Where is the Maradona jersey? Um, It's not coming out this week. That's uh, that's coming out later at some point. When, when are the Darwins dropping, lol? I don't know. Uh, either next week for week two or towards the end of the season. It would be crazy if they dropped two different shoes at the same time. But I think for usually for the spring summer Nike collabs, they have one towards the beginning of the season, one towards the end. I can't think of the last time they had a double Nike collab, though. Or maybe my brain is just dead. Yep, exactly. Jersey will not be later this week, Grandmaster. Um, the jersey will be at some other drop. Cop the purple and white Maradona both XL. Nice, dude. Next week, there is no drop and then Nike collab. Yes, most likely. I mean, they could literally do Nike on a different date, but typically, like almost always, they do Nike week two. But they have been doing stuff kind of weirdly recently. They've been mixing stuff up, throwing us off later this year. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what you meant for sure. Um, week one runs for two weeks. Yes, these, item, these items will be available for two weeks. And we'll do a what sold out video probably next week. I don't know. I got, I got a lot of preview stuff to go over. Um, give me a quick second, guys. I need to check my email in a couple of days. But what did everyone think about this drop? I think overall it was pretty easy to get whatever you wanted. And I guess I'm happy with the two t-shirts, but I still have. I still have a bunch of t-shirts for sale. So if you guys want anything, let me know. I got, got a bunch of items. I got black hell tea, size large for sale. And be a young boy photo tee. Size large in pink for sale. I got the Camacho T. Brown size large. And then also the American Psycho in mustard size large. Zane is hoping the faux fur restocks. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope anyone that wants it can cop it. Should we look at Palace here in a second? I still need to open up my email, do a couple things. Football zip flu. Did it really? No way. Huh. It flew in brown. The Cleveland Browns colorway. Huh. I guess I was dead wrong on this one. I thought that it maybe wouldn't have gone. This was probably the jacket to get. Maybe this was sleeper. Chargers colorway, so did white blur. Yeah. 
Yeah, I definitely think I was a little bit off today and kind of just, I panicked boys. I panicked and just bought two t-shirts because they're simple items. But I feel like if I would have thought about it, it's kind of obvious that these would sell out. So we got to, that's the problem with week one. There's almost too much to get. Denim hat flu. Oh, uh, dude, you were, you were telling me that. Nice. But here's the problem, dude. Here's the problem with one of these types of pieces that has like seven different colorways. If you buy the wrong one, you know, obviously, and this is talking about resell, buy whatever you like. That's just like, I feel like that should be kind of a no brainer, right? Like all this stuff ultimately is like buy what you like. But if you're going after the hyped stuff, if you're going after an item that can potentially resell that you can wear for a bit and then resell, it sucks whenever you choose wrong, you know? IDK, why the Raider colorway isn't sold out for football zip? That's Bo Jackson's jersey number. Yeah, dude, it makes no fucking sense sometimes. I agree with you, Dave. 100% agree with you. And black usually does pretty well. So it's just weird to see this guy sitting in small and medium while these other two are still here. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's stitched. I just didn't like the fact that it was a zip up. That was the only thing that dissuaded me, guys. But real talk, maybe the zip up is actually pretty cool. Chargers bolts are probably throwing off Raiders fans since their arrivals. That's that's a stretch, bro, because this isn't even a Raiders colorway. I mean, it is, but it's not official. It's like kind of like a lightly inspired by. So I don't think Raiders fans are not buying this because of lightning bolts. I mean, the designs on all of them. I mean, who knows? Maybe. The things that sell out the slowest sometimes pop off because no one is reselling it. This guy's got a point. You got a point, dude. I've seen that ARC logo on one pair of chinos before. Maybe it was the Doughboy chinos. What ARC logo? On pants? I kind of like the cargo pants. I've just yet to buy a pair of pants that are over a hundred dollars. I've just never done it before. I'm just a Levi's boy. You're the rigid, rigid baggy. These are crazy. These look like if you wash these, you probably wouldn't, you're never supposed to wash these really. Amazing spring, spring, uh, Sup Supreme week one. Jesus, dude, I can't talk. Amazing Supreme week one. I have a feeling the collabs are going to go bananas this season. I do too, man. Ducati is crazy. I cannot wait to talk about Ducati and all the other um, collabs this season, the accessories. What do you guys think about Palace this week? That's the question that I'm, that I'm wondering. What do you guys think about Palace this week? It looks pretty hyped to me. I'm kind of stoked. Obviously a much smaller drop. They always are. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, uh, Grandmaster AJ. I don't know why. I can, at least your message is still, is still like there. I'll fix, I'll fix the actual stream labs before, um, before next week, hopefully. Triferg is the move. Palace trucker hat is fire. Yeah. The trucker hat is so sick. If I didn't have just too many hats, I would cop this. But I have just too many hats. I love it though. Mmm. Bit grippy. Ooh, bit grippy indeed. What kind of. Okay, this is kind of fire. Yeah, we might cop a Triferg. You can never have too many hats. Boys, I have too many hats. I need a better way to store them. I can literally go to my closet and pull out 20, 20 hats. I have them just stuffed up in my closet on the top shelf and they're just like all randomly stacked on top of each other. Just like 
super random. They fall on the ground constantly. It's kind of funny. Yeah, maybe we go after a Triferg. I've never copped a Triferg, and these definitely are the move, right? But I have been told, unless I'm crazy, that Palace is harder to resell than Supreme. A little bit. The black olive striped sweater is a must. Yeah, dude, this thing is really nice. If this were to release in the fall, I would definitely consider it. We're here on Palace Community. Oh, damn, that's not the move. Let's uh, refrain. Let's uh, undo. Okay. Definitely harder to resell. Gotcha. Yep. I got you, Dave. Trifergs fit small and Trifergs don't resell. Yeah, it's hard to sell. Usually would have to aim for the right item or expect to resell it under retail on Grail. Damn, yeah. That kind of sucks because Palace makes dope stuff and I want to cop more of it, but... I mean, the items, only the items that I would want to actually wear would be like this patchwork. So we'll see. We'll see, guys. But Palace stuff does like resell eventually, right? Like, you know, if you're going after old items, resells for a little bit, but I guess that's not really right. Resell, I feel like is kind of expected to be like short term flips. Not the Palace Ugg collab hotcakes. Now I'm just staring at these mittens like why? Yeah. Oh, I did cop the... I guess I copped the Palace Crocs. Let's see what those are doing right now. I have them for sale on eBay. I just listed them at like $99. So <laughs> I might like even break even on them. But sometimes for a video, if I can do a do an actual like review of a shoe and then even if I break even on it it still makes sense it's still fun to do I like getting them in hand and, and actually giving my honest opinion on them but let me look at my eBay selling why is eBay the fucking dumbest website ever Bruh. I just want to just show me all my items. Don't show me the seller hub. I, guys, what is what am I looking at here? I usually go on do it on my phone, but like, do I go to store? Overview. What the fuck am I look like? What am I looking at right here? This is insane. Am I working on a blue a Bloomberg terminal? How do I just look at all my things that I have for sale, bro? What? Orders. Listings. Active. Like, this is insane, dude. Yeah, $199.99. Okay. That's all I wanted to look at. That's literally all I wanted to look at. <laughs> it's so stupid. Supreme soccer jersey sold out. I wanted that soccer jersey. Um, but I already got the Umbro Dynasty one from a couple seasons ago. Yeah, dude, that's the thing. They release similar items all the time. So sometimes if you already have something, there's no point in getting it. Satin track jacket's actually selling out. Cool. I think this is a great piece. 30 years of dedication. World famous crown. Black one sold out. Do the palace crocs, crocs, mellow slides and the celery and the bone. Yeah. I copied those celeries and um, I flipped them because they were Crocs. I feel like Crocs are kind of in right now. So the Palace Crocs, I think, do well. It's so funny to resell Crocs. Like that's just, if you had told me that in um, in 2014, like dude, in, um, in nine years, the Crocs are going to be reselling. I'd be like, shut up, dude. I don't believe you. But that's the truth. And they are reselling, which is really funny if you think about it. 
blur soccer jersey. Kind of trippy. 24. That's cool. Need the Sharpies to draw so I can write. <laughs> need, a sh need the Sharpies to draw so I can write L on my forehead. That's funny. What up? Shit. I spent way too much this morning on the drop. That's funny. Elevated. Um, palace Crocs are an example of good palace item that will resell over time. Supreme style. For sure. Uh, all bags sitting in EU. Palace. Okay. We'll, back we'll be back to Palace. Drop lists. I do have to probably go here in like five, 10 minutes, guys, and just get back to my daily nine to five grind. When begin week two, week two, leap day, 2024. Week two will be February 29th. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. You caught another red varsity on a restock size XL. Hit me up. Florian Peter just is made of money. Hell yeah, dude. Love it. Those are going to do very well for you, bro. How much did you end up selling those Camachos for? Yeah, drop a like on the stream. How much did you sell the Camacho, um, the sweaters for, Peter? I know you copped like both of those. Dude, please spam caps. I love it when you spam caps. I hate, I want to destroy Streamlabs right now. I'm going to fix that for next stream. Streamlabs is an annoying little bitch. Also, I just don't have a big enough community to even need like an Autobot. Autobots roll out. Um, Palace. Okay. Teddy Fleece will sell out. Anything with Teddy Ears will sell out. I think that Ear Flapper is super fun. This guy will sell out for sure. Flexus, Horsepower. I like it a lot. People like it. I really want this Patchwork Stripe shirt. It's probably like 130 bucks though, and I'll probably pussy out and not buy it, <laughs> even though I want it. Uh, let's see. Hexagon Pertex Quilted. I don't really like this design. There's just something about the hexagons on it that just not really doing it for me, to be honest. Corduroy Belter Trouser in Deep Green. Interesting. Not really a fan of those. We got Trifergs, the bit grippy. Bit grippy, mate. Basically a long sleeve. I mean, basically, yeah. Very chill. Very chill vibes on the basically long sleeve. And then we got this. I like the blue camo a whole lot. The blue camo fleece is really cool. Same with this teddy. Same with these open stripe knits. I think the olive one is probably the best. And then we have all these bit grippy trifergs. This one's in kind of Lakers colors, so maybe this one will do well. I don't know. I'm really bad at predicting what will resell palace wise. Made like 150 profit combined on the camo knits and nothing crazy. Gotcha. That's still not bad, dude. I mean, considered like some items that you resell, you make like 20, 30 bucks on. So hell yeah. That's the palace drop list. I feel like I just flew through that, but there's not much else to talk about. Lots of just basic items. Boxy striped t-shirt. It's decent. It's cool. Belter trousers. They're all right. You know, pretty much it's this open stripe knit. And I think these ear flappers are two items to go for. But again, you know, this is going to be pretty much a useless item in your wardrobe unless it stays cold wherever you live until like May. Like what do you have, February, April, May? We'll forget about March, screw March. We're skipping March this year, we're going straight February to April. That's the, um, that's the new vibe. Just like I'm not really into March this year, I'm kinda just feeling you know, April. I don't know what I'm talking about guys. I think that's gonna do it folks. Like that was week one Supreme. And we copped again these Hanes boxers, a Futara box logo, and a Maradona shirt. And I'm pretty sure the Maradona XL. I think Futara sold out at least. Let's take a look 
One last look. Maradona. Sold out next extra large. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Gray. Sold out in large. Blue was fully sold out. Purple, of course, fully sold out. White still available. And yeah, lots of good items that came out this week. You know, it wasn't the same level of hype that we've seen from recent seasons. I'll admit, you know, week one last year was was crazy. Week one, spring, summer was crazy. But I think we still have so many cool items to come out and to talk about, to discuss. So we'll have to look over this next week at what items are doing on the resale market. Kind of what we're feeling about week two. I'm excited to get the Nike collab information and just the week two info uh, as a whole. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Going to call it right there. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe. Happy belated Valentine's Day. I totally forgot that was yesterday. And I'll see you guys next week and maybe in a few days or a day or two for the next video. Peace. Thanks, bro.